Hey, it's Mr. Malty. This is going to be a quick walkthrough how to create a Google site for yourself. It's super easy. Um, so let's get going. Remember to pause this video after each step. Catch up. Don't feel like I'm lost. You can pause the video. It's really easy. So let's do this. We're going to go to a new tab and type in sites.new. Can you believe that? New tab, sites.new. You've created a Google website. There you go. Your first website. All right, once it goes to space, we'll look at the features of your brand new site. Boom. Give it a name. My portfolio. <laughs> hey, you want a template? Not right now, but thank you. My portfolio. Maybe your homepage is all about you. I don't know. Your teachers will fill you in. This is all about, hey. Cool. Header types, just small, medium, large. <laughs> you can have uh, just the title, banner, large banner, cover. So these large banners, maybe if it's like a website that's selling a product or something like that, it would be you know appropriate. But, you know, just a banner might, might be all you need. Ooh. Go ahead and change the image for your little banner. You can upload something that'll go right from your drive anyway, but select image will take you to gallery by URL, a search, your albums, which you probably won't have albums, and from Google Drive. So gallery might be good enough. You might also do a search. There we go. Let's grab this one. It's the professional. So go ahead, pause the video, make sure you're on a site, you've changed the title, changed the home page, changed the um, banner image that come on back to me so there are a few ways to add content so let's get some content in here um, I like to do it a couple of ways you can just click on any white space and you get the edit wheel which is this where you can add images upload things or right from your drive text boxes of course but a nice thing to do is under insert if you look here under layouts these are all perfectly spaced with the same size text. So that's a nice thing to do. Go in there and then you can just click on the little plus where you can select all these things. Before we get editing a little bit more, um, let's just check out your themes. Maybe I should have done that first. Go to your themes. Do you want this simple one? So there's six different ones. Go ahead and change if you want. Even this one, you can still go in and you can change the font and the size and all that sort of stuff, even in the same theme and all the text, you know, colors and the feature colors that you have. So these little feature colors will change. Um, some of the design things here, like this little palette, where here it will be blue. So that's what those ones do. So some of the highlight little features will be that color. So go ahead, just before we add any more content, go grab a theme that you like. Um, and uh, go ahead and change that, and then come back and we'll talk more about that content. Okay, you've got your theme. If you ever have a section and you want to remove it, this section right here, see it's highlighted in blue, you just delete it. Uh, okay, so those are these little layouts that pop a whole layout section right in there, which I really like. So I popped in a layout. Let's look first at images, so grab a layout. And we'll come on back and we'll get some images going. So I will select an image. There's your options for images, something from Drive, Google image search. By URL, you might not have anything by URL, but you could do a brand new search. Great white shark. And this is where you would right click, copy image address. That's, that's a URL insert, insert image. So when I went here, opened up an image, right click and copy image address. That's an image from there, but you don't have to do that. You could also just select an image, go to Google image search, grab one from here, boom. Now it does crop them because that's the layout I have. If I don't want them cropped like that, boop, uncrop. And it'll just 
change that little layout they got there. Whoop. Little draggy drag handles. They move things around, and as you can see, it'll highlight how many sections. So it's even really easy to lay things out in a nice, even way. So there you go. Grab some images. Then we'll grab another one from Google. Oh, I'll grab one from my photos. There we go. Boom. Alrighty. Text boxes. Here, they're already done. Sharks. Penguins. Oh, it's good. Birds. Birds. Perfect. You got some subtext here. If you want to ever get rid of some of that stuff, you can just click the box, which is just the one, and nuke it. There we go. So a few ways you can add images. Go ahead and add some images. Add that text. It's looking pretty good already. Remember to pause every step, and we'll keep going. All right. You ready for some more stuff? Let's do it. Um, another thing I really like about doing it this way through the layouts is it gives you this YouTube option right here. If I had gone here, YouTube is way down at the bottom. And then when it inserts, it's kind of in a clunky, it'll just like make it ginormous. So it's actually easier to do it this way. So now we've got our pictures, we have our text. Let's look at adding just a little YouTube video right here. YouTube, put a little Hank Green in there. If you have any issues with this, let us know because they did change the age limitations with YouTube. Hank, not Hank, Hank Green. Okay, there we go. Super easy. Add another little section. Add a YouTube video. There we go. One thing I do like to add is a little header section. So my pages might be one. I'm going to make this a title. And I'm going to click the little section. Boop. There we go. So I like to have a little section header that kind of tells you what's in each section. There we go. My influences. In influences. So I kind of like how that, that is a nice little way to break things up. And when you publish this, each of those sections will give you a little link icon. You can copy that link and people can go directly to a specific part of your page. So it's good to have those little headers. So go ahead and try that. Just I click the little text box. I put a little section header. And I made it a title, and I used a little bit of a style, right? So little section headers. Boop. Yep, can you beat an image? Texture. Boom. There we go. Now these sections, see there's a little grabby hand. You can always move them up, move them down, move them around. Take one down, move it around. Nice and easy to, to move those around. It's got the YouTube videos. What else? Let's look at some pages now because um, when you get these pages going, this is going to affect your navigation. So right now there's no navigation because there's just one page. So I'm going to go to pages now. And uh, if I click on here, I can add a new page. I'm actually going to make this my shark page. You notice these are at the same level. Oh, bids. Ha, ha, ha. If you make a stick like that, the three dots there, properties. Because it wasn't just the title here. It was actually the name of the page. But man, I can't type today. Birds. Okay, so as you can see, these pages are all at the same level. If I want them to be sub pages, I can drag them in here, just like that, drag them onto the home. And when I'm on my home page, if I write, if I just do a click on these three dots, 
there's add sub page right there. So instead of new page, you can go here, add sub page, and this new page will automatically be underneath. And that means that in your navigation, it'll appear just below. They also have this new, new menu section. It would just give you another way to create sections and have pages underneath them like this without actually creating a, a section page. So it just saves the, it saves you the time of making a page for section, like a splash page. There we go. So you could add some sub pages. Try that. Try nesting these. If, if you made a mistake, you don't want a page, you know, to be like underneath a sub page. You can just drag it. Um, I find if you drag it up. It helps. It's supposed to be able to drag it just to the left, but sometimes it's kind of weird. Kind of weird and wonky. And if just drag it up above. It's just practice moving these things around. Right? Whatever at the top is going to be your home page. Back to sub pages. They could be sub pages of your sub pages. So practice that. Practice moving those pages around. Very lovely. Okay. Back to my home page. Now, any text can be a link. So if I click on and select, uh, double click, one, two, selects the whole thing. This little button is insert link. And that can take you to pages that are within your website. That'll work just fine. Or if it's external, you can just go to the web page, like engaging students, and then go back, select the text. There's my text link, control V, and apply. So that's going to be a link to that external website. Coolio. All right. What else we need? Publishing. I think we're pretty good for content. Got videos. If I want something from Drive, there's the Drive button. Just have to select that thing. There's my slideshow. Just make sure that in Drive, you've shared this with whoever you want to see the site. So anyone at the link in view, there we go. Slideshows are kind of neat because you can actually have them loop and auto start. So it'll play through your whole slide deck. So that's kind of good. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. I got my sharks linked. I could link my penguin one too, to my penguins page and apply and birds to my birds page and apply yes i know penguins and birds it's all right <laughs> okay that's looking good time to publish so we're going to go up to our publish button web address you can call it my portfolio and oh the great address Uh, anyone at black gold, that's probably what you want. Right? So you could add specific people, but in general, anyone at black gold just means that your teacher will be able to see it. And if we're ready, my portfolio looks all good. You press publish. That site will be published. If you want to see what the actual published site looks like, you go up to the publish options and view published site, ready to rock. It's beautiful, lovely. There you go. Real simple way to make a web page. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> if you want to share this link with the teacher, please make sure that you're not sharing this edit link. You can share the one when you view the published site. Um, but this copy published site link, that's also another way to get that published site link. So that's the link you want to share, where you can copy and share that with your teacher so they can get to your site. Otherwise, they're going to be going to the edit site. You don't want that. So 
make sure you share the correct link with your teacher. So good luck.